Let's have a look at the best practices for creating an effective chart. And by effective, I mean that the reader is able to clearly understand the message that you're trying to communicate. Now, charts should be SCC, simple, clear, and consistent. First, let's start with simple. Basically, strip your chart. Take away components, colors, images, or anything that doesn't matter. Take away background color. Lighten the grid lines or take them away entirely. You can remove the y-axis if you show the data labels and stick to simple fonts. They shouldn't be too small and difficult to read. Also, stick to 2D. Don't use 3D charts. For clear, as noted by Edward Tuft, above all else, show the data. In his book, The Visual Display of Quantitative Information, he talks about the concept of the data ink ratio. The data ink ratio is the amount of ink that shows the information as compared to the total amount of ink that's used. Now, basically what it comes down to is don't waste ink on things that don't matter. Use your ink to show and highlight what matters. And the way you highlight is that you either reduce the data ink from the surroundings of your chart, or you increase the data ink of the element that you want to highlight. Simplified charts ensure that the attention is driven to the data, to what matters. These are the steps that you need to follow. Have a title. Every chart should have a title. Your reader shouldn't have to figure it out. And the title should be on top of the chart. Now, reports are read from top to bottom and here from left to right. So make sure your title is either on the top left corner or on the top middle section of your chart. Tell the story. The truth and nothing but the truth. Don't have breaks in your axis. Don't put a gap between the values in your y-axis. Always use consistent scaling and start from zero, especially when you're showing a column chart or a bar chart. But sometimes you may want to concentrate the attention to the pattern of a section of the graph. You might not do your story justice if you start from zero. In this case, you can add a second graph where the y-axis doesn't start from zero. So you have your first graph with the y-axis starting from zero where you show the overview and the second graph works kind of like a zoomed in version where you zoom into a specific section. If you do start your axis other than zero, make sure you inform your readers. Show the data series labels. So if you have more than one series, you need legends. These are your series labels. Whenever you can, such as for line graphs, place the legend and the labels right by the series. Otherwise, you can place the legend right on top, below your chart title, or on the right-hand side. Highlight elements. Enhance your data and do emphasize the most important part if there is a certain point you want to make and you want your readers to find it fast. And last, be consistent. Use the same colors throughout your report. So for example, in financial reporting, when you're presenting your actuals, make sure that your actuals stands out against your budget and your outlooks and that you use the same color throughout all your reports. Now the colors that work best are different shades of gray or different shades of blue. But it really depends on your organization, the logo they have, the color mix they have. So for example, if the logo of your organization is brown, you might want to use a shade of brown for your actuals. If it's blue, you might want to use a shade of blue for your actuals. But whatever color you choose, make sure it stands out and make sure that it's consistent throughout all your reports. That's SCC, simple, clear, and consistent. Every time you design a chart, make sure that it's as SCC as you can get. After that, go beyond this step and make sure that it's as dynamic as it can get. And that's what I'm going to teach you in the next section.